Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm super excited. We're taking a look at an awesome Class C motorhome that is truly less than 30 feet long. This is a 2021 Thor Quantum SC model SE28. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Quantum and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. It's the world's only channel giving you the true and biased review about everything when it comes to RVs. And again, today, I am super excited to be taking a look at a Class C that is perfect for state and national parks. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Andrea. Hey, Andrea! Hi, everybody! Thank you so much for coming out in the rain! Yes, you guys, we are in Tampa today. Um, I want to give a special thanks to Brian and Kaylee up in Virginia. Yep. They just bought this beautiful quantum, so congratulations. Yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you. And not this exact one, but this exact floor plan. So we appreciate it, Andrea. Let's begin! Model is Quantum SC28. The actual tip-to-tip -tip length of this motorhome is 29 feet 11 inches. This is the Quantum SE. It is not to be confused with a regular Quantum. This is more like a four winds in a chateau where a regular Quantum is gonna be like a step above both of those. Right up here we have a uh, fiberglass front cap. Okay, it's an all a good difference to be able to tell the difference. It's a Quantum is gonna be all white or a Quantum SE is gonna be all white. A Quantum is going to be tan with the partial body paint or the full body paint option. It is powered on an E450 chassis. It does have the 7.3 liter Godzilla engine. 350 horsepower and 468 foot pounds of torque. Check out these tires, Andrea. They're the Dana Pros. I love those. LT225 75 R16. I love it. Coming down the side. We have a nice power awning with LED lights. Let's take a look at that when it's all the way out. Great, nice power awning with the LED lights there. They also have the pinch there, Matt. Yes, so if we need the rain to come down on this side, we can do that. Because it's a 2021 Thor, it does have the new 12 year structural three, la three year lamination warranty. It's the longest warranty in the industry. Right here we have a propane tank. And Andrea, we will have all the propane tank sizes, lengths with specs about this motorhome down in the description below. Also, bing, right there so everybody can watch, who's, everybody can see who's watching on television. And then right there we have a little bit of storage. Coming down the side, we have power plug for the, if you need power on the outside. Because it's Thor, they did upfit the chassis with some Moride uh, aftermarket OEM stuff. And Moride plus Thor is Thor Ride. Coming down the side here. A little bit more storage. Okay. Okay. Right here is a propane quick connect. You do want to have a propane grill. And then here. Oh. Wow. Look at that storage, Andrea. Nice. That's absolutely incredible. Not only that. It's a table. It's a table, yes. And then your spare tires back there and everything. Awesome. Coming around the back, we do have a bumper for your stinky slinky. 8,000 pound hitch. This motorhome cannot tow 8,000 pounds. You're safe at 5,000 pounds. Any more than that, you really need to weigh your motorhome first before you tow any more than that. Here's another access panel to that storage or whatever you want to call it. Backup camera right there integrated in that rear tail light. Also a ladder to get up on the one piece TPO roof. Andrea, let's not go up there today because it's wet and waning. What is the roof TPO you oh, said? Oh, one piece TPO roof. Awesome. With one air conditioning unit because it's a 30 amp motorhome. Okay. Finishing up, it's the other side of that storage. Here's your city water connection, black tank flush, potable water fill. Potable. Potable. <laughs> right here's where you fill up your fuel. Here's gonna be uh, your dump station right there. 
and then right here is where you hook up your 30 amp water hose. Look what they did with the D the decals. Oh, very nice. They even continue yeah. the decals right here. Now over here. Here's where you dump your black and gray tank. Okay. So I don't know what the heck that was over there. And then right here is a Cummins Onan 4000 gasoline generator. I like that it's vented. Yes. Well, Andrea, the outside of this motorhome looks great, but it looks even better on the inside. Let's go take a look. Come on, skip in Tampa. Hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> don't lose my umbrella. <laughs> Are you doing Mary Poppins? Mary Poppins. All right. All right, guys. Slide is in. Cargo carrying capacity we'll get when we go up front. Okay. Look at this. There's the bunk. Matt, it's, I like it with the slide in. It's very still spacious. Very spacious. Yes, okay. Yes, yes. So I'm walking to the back, you guys. As you can see, I can still get to the bathroom with plenty of room and the bed is accessible. Yes. Wow. Great. Now, Andrea, while the slide out's coming out, we have a huge favor to ask everyone. If you could, please leave down a comment below. Let us know three things you like about this motorhome and three things you don't like about it. The more people to comment and smash that thumbs up button, the more YouTube likes to promote our videos too. And we thank you guys. Also, if you haven't seen last night's video, we did a, a fifth wheel video on this channel, but that wasn't any fifth wheel. Andre, do you know whose fifth wheel that was? Who was it? Let Nate and Marissa's from Less Junk and More Journey. What? Make sure you check out that wow. video. Also, if you don't subscribe to Less Junk More Journey, which I don't believe any of you aren't, um, make sure you check out their video this Sunday when me and Will, we went all the way up to Ohio to collaborate with them. And we Very appreciate nice them. Very people. Yes. Let's bring it up front. All oh, right, Andrea, this has the new 7.3 liter Godzilla engine, okay? You can tell from the new modern Ford steering wheel. You have your lights right there. It tells you miles, distance, everything. Power windows right here, emergency start, the lights, window wipers, everything. Andrea, do you want to sit my co-captain sure. seat? Sure. Wow, okay. Oh, very nice. Yeah. Um, yes, it feels the same as the others. Yes, wonderful. Actually, it's, it's pretty comfortable, actually. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, I mean, I like it. I like that there's cup holders. It's pretty much, you know, the same. Let's get the cargo carrying capacity. Yep. The CCC. Is it on my side, maybe? Dang, them. Oh, it's on my side, babe. Hold on. Here, you get the CCC. Oh, it's right there. Uh, whoa. That's Thor ride right there. 645. Wow. Very nice. All right. Here we have the bunk over the cab, you guys. And I like how they have a cubby there with the USB port. Yes. Uh, I believe the limit is what? 800, oh, 800 pounds. Oh, yeah. Wow. That's a record. Looks like they've been stepping it up. Oh, huh? yeah. You got the window on the side. Also, a ladder right there. Privacy curtain over there, everybody. Just to make it easy to get up on the roof. Opening for or, a fan. Uh, whatever you call this. Then in the living room area, I love this. You have big cabinet. Nobody makes bigger cabinets than Thor. Look how big that wow. is. Wow. And you know what? Those balances are cute. Yes. And there's a coax right there if you want a TV in the bunk over the cab. Okay. Very nice cabinet. Looks like they gave us some mini blinds here. Yep. Yep. The shade. Price point, price point motorhome. And I love these windows that can uh, slide open. And then we have cup holders here. And then we have a really nice two-tone sofa right here. This does jackknife to make a bed. And the reason why I love it is because it is directly across from the television. Wow. Mm. Also, the TV is above the dinette. Now, here's what I like. You do have two windows on both sides to make it very comfortable. This dinette does drop down to make a bed. And you have cup holders right here just for the... Um, just for when you're driving down the road, if you tap the brakes. It's like we got storage under here, Matt. Yes. Very nice. I like when they have drawers. Okay. Drawers and drawers, power and USB underneath as well. Very nice. Well, Andrea, it's now time for the MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. But before that, let me get the awning in. 
The winds are starting to pick up some. Guys, look at this mirror right here. I won't say something about that. That looks like it might be Art Deco, Matt. Art Deco. What say you? Art Deco. <laughs> You're supposed to say no. Oh, no. I always think it's Art Deco. Yeah, that's true. Very nice mirror. It's very modern. I like it. And I will show this cabinet above the door. You can never have enough storage, everybody. And check out, I really do like the bar as you come in right there. Yep, nice handlebar, nice handle on the outside, solar on the outside, everything. Also notice how there's no heat ducts in the floor. Oh, yeah. Actually, I like this floor. Yep. I, I will comment on the cabinetry. Um, I actually like it, you know. I mean, we've, we've been seeing a lot of the dark and then just the uh, and white. The yep. But this is nice. It's a light shade of wood. I like that. It's now time for the MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. MSRP on this motorhome here is $109,868 MSRP. Wow. That's not that bad. Sale price, we have it 30% off to $76,995. That's phenomenal sale price. But Andrea, Brian and Kaylee didn't pay that. No. You know what they did? Yes. Tell everybody what they did. They called, they text, they emailed, and they FaceTimed. Hey, 301-906-0962. Or mattsrvreviews at gmail.com. Or even better, go to the website mattsrvreviews.com you will see three contact tabs. If you're ready to buy this motorhome, click contact one like Brian did, and you will get Matt Cash, and you will get the best price on this motorhome in the world. If you have questions about this motorhome and you want to compare it to another brand, click option two. I get back to you within 24 to 48 hours to the best of my abilities. Or if you have a generalized fan question for me, AKA Andrea, <laughs> click that third contact tab and it goes to her. But Andrea, it doesn't matter if they click tab three, two, or one, What's the one thing that they all have in common? They'll get the best price in America. <laughs> Andrea, let's continue the video. Okay, so look at this. I like this. This is very, it's very nice and it's a breath of fresh air to see something different. Yes. So it's got the frosted look. Uh huh. Nice cabinetry with adjustable shelf. Mm. We do have a, a big kitchen window, you guys. Look nice. At this. Big kitchen window. Very nice. With a tower of power. Tower? Which yeah. I've been missing lately. I yeah. Missed it in the last video, but here it is. There it is. And oh, we man. got a big sink here. Wow. Nice extension here. Mm hmm. And let's see what we got over here. Look at this. I love the lights under there. Yep. Cute. Oh, with We little... got drawers. Mm -hmm. Two drawers. Very nice. Oh! oh that's an $83 <laughs> trash can. Congratulations. And you got your detector in here and everything. Yep. Very nice. Nice. All right. Over here we have the three burner Furion propane cooktop mm -hmm. with the glass Which, cover. Very nice. And an Ooh, oven. Very nice. Not a fan of these drawers. Okay. They're okay. kind of strange. But I will say, look at the detail in the slide. Yep. Very cute. We got to show that microwave. Oh yeah, I did forget that then. Very nice. Nice little microwave. Now, over here we have the two-way. Yep. Two-way fridge. Oh, yeah. Runs off both propane Sorry, and electric. Sorry, guys. User error. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice size. Yep. Camp size. And we got the cabinet above here. That's Very a big nice. cabinet. Very nice. Cool. Now for the bathroom. The door swings. Open this way. Okay. We have a very elevated shower here. Yeah, look at the step there. Mm-hmm. Decent sized shower for a class C, y'all. Let me see. Nice that. radius nautilus door. Very good height and everything. I like the uh this. Very, very nice. Okay. Andre, let's check that out right there. The big medicine cabinet. Mm, for all your medicines. <laughs> very nice. Nice fan up there. Mm-hmm. Good space countertop. Cute yep. little modern sink. Yep. Cabinetry. You got electrical outlet there let's check out this look it's on a pedestal so i wonder how yeah you're i wonder that. i wonder we're gonna find out it is porcelain Yay. it almost got the prime pooping position 
I can't because of this door. Um, it's just, it's not a prime pooping position, but it's not not a prime pooping position. It almost passed, but it did not. Okay. Bummer. Let's continue into the bedroom area. All right, you guys, check this out. There is a light down there with uh -huh. a step up. Looks like there's an accordion door on here. Yep, you have two windows, a place for a television right, right there. Here. They're not putting the TV in just to keep the price point down. And then tons of storage all the way so around. So you got, actually, look, they gave you a nightstand on that side. Open oh, that door up real quick. Yeah. Open it up. Okay, so Very they gave you a nice. nightstand. And over here, you have the wardrobe. Very nice got the wardrobe and you have two drawers here uh -huh. and then over here you have the bed I really like that this is accessible even when you're boondocking and there's no slide outs yes. in the bedroom area um, I can see over there by the nightstand that you do have the USB ports yes ma'am outlet yes ma'am and I do like that there's two windows here so for cross ventilation and no storage, no storage. under the bed okie doke well, oops. Well, Andrea, that's it. Careful. That's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, it's now time we give them three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. Andrea, what do we do with first? Let's do three things we dislike about it. Okay, I'm going to go first. Okay. And it's right behind you. What's that? The step that you almost fell over? Yep. Normally I fall over those. Yep. <laughs> so. Okay, just, I, I get it. Just not a fan. It's because of the storage in the back. Yep, it's yeah. dangerous, but um, yeah. no big deal. You just gotta be cautious of it. And I think whoever owns this motorhome will know of that, so. Okay. Just not a fan of that. That's um, one. I actually, I I don't like the fact that at least the seat does not swivel. Okay. Um, I don't know, I feel like it needs to have a little bit more seating space. Uh huh. I know this one wouldn't be able to, but I think they should at least make one of them. Okay. Swivel. Okay. Especially, especially if you're gonna be so low to the floor. Yes. If they didn't do that, I wish the whole thing was just, just flush. Flush. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Because if they, if they're if if they swiveled, I don't mind the step down. But since they don't swivel, yeah, no, hundred percent agree. And then not to. I actually have a, a third dislike. Okay. Well, let me combo okay. mine. Okay. So, speaking of step ups, that's a really big step up for the uh, shower yes. right there. So I'm gonna combo that with my first one. Okay, so again, what's your third again, one? I'm not picking on everything that doesn't have pantry space, okay? I've been doing that a lot lately, but definitely in here, there is no pantry space. No and dedicated pantry. It's, it's like, where do you put your food? Mm -hmm. I mean, you don't really have a lot of storage, so that's a big dislike for me. Well, here's the positive spin to it though. With this motorhome being 29 feet, 11 inches, you know, you, you can make do with it work. It's yes, just, you're going to have to use you these know, over if here. You, if you did want a floor plan like this that had a little bit more pantry space, you go you're bigger. then 30, 31, 32. True, yes. So that's the trade-off. Good trade point, good point, Matt. So that's three things we don't like. Now it's time for three things we love about this motorhome. Ready for me to go first? Sure. Okay, my first thing is this bedroom back here. I like the space. I like the storage, I like the sleep at machine, and I like how there is no slide out in this bedroom. This is the way this bedroom is at all times. Yes. Love that. Okay. So that's one. Okay, my my like is, you guys, I really like the colors in here. Mm. Um, I think they did a good job. Mm. It's a breath of fresh air to see something different, although yes. I am a, a big fan of the farmhouse and the white interior. I do like seeing these lighter colors of wood it right. looks great i love the farmhouse but i don't want to see it every yes, time exactly. because then it's not special exactly so that's number two and andre if you would join me outside hang on hang on oh you're such a gentleman thank you thank you yep okay i guess we're gonna go to the storage yes number three is this storage right here it's absolutely fantabulous it is. Uh, amazing, great, and it really is what makes this floor plan. And I'm going to combo it again, going there. The fact that it's 29 feet, 11 inches, true length, making it great for all state and national parks. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. Big special thanks to Andrea 
Not for coming here, because she always is here, but for coming here and working in the rain. She doesn't have to do that, so we appreciate it. Hashtag send love to Andrea. If you guys <laughs> have any questions about this motorhome, please call me, text me, send me an email. It is mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962. That's my personal cell phone, but it rings all the time. So the best thing to do is just go to mattsrvreviews.com and click the contact tab that works best for you. Andrea, do you have anything you wanna say? Yes, and everybody, I I love doing these videos, so I would be here if a hurricane was here. Dang. <laughs> um, thank you guys so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you dislike. Thor is a big fan of our channel, and so they do read the comments, you guys. So if you want to change things, make sure you comment. Yes. Um, also, you guys, we're so close to our goal, and it's going to be really hard these last few weeks. You know how it is when you're almost at the finish line. So everybody, please make sure you hit that like button and you subscribe. Thank you. I hope you guys are all safe and you guys are well. Thanks awesome. for watching. And if you're looking for a motorhome that is truly less than 30 feet long, we have two videos right there, right there. that are our personal recommendations of what you should be watching. Yes. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. Andrea, we'll see you next time.